Hi everyone, my name is Maria and welcome back to Vixen's Victorious and welcome to your round four uh, preview. Uh, so we are playing West Coast Fever Tuesday the 12th of April at 6pm uh, at John Kane Arena. So it's a top of the table clash and it's going to be interesting to see who loses their first game for the season. Um, hopefully it is Fever because I don't like losing so... Um, but the last time we did uh, play them was in round 12 of 2021 and we lost by 14 points. Uh, FIBO got 64 and we got 50 at Nissan Arena. I mean, I mean last season, last season we didn't do chalk and cheese last season and this season uh, for sure. So I'm not going to bank too much on that. Um, I think we did play them in the um, finals of the Teen Girls Cup, um, and from what I remember it was a tight match. Uh, but what to expect? So the top of the table clash between West Coast Fever and Marvel Vixens is going to be a thriller, of course, uh, the drama, uh, as both sides are going to keep their unbeaten record alive. Um, Missy and Marco and the last time uh, they met at the Gold Shooter, uh, we hope to maintain a hot form and impose herself against uh, the Fever captain Courtney Bruce, uh, who is coming off a strong defensive performance in round three. So obviously Bruce is phenomenal. Uh, she, I think she was. What what did she win last year? like diamond play of the year or something like that and she did make the Australian team so she is uh, highly skilled to say the least. Uh, the combination of Kumwanda and Kira Austin impressed around three while well, the injection of Rani Samuelson into the circle could provide a new dimension to the attacking end which is what I'm saying especially when it comes to super shots we need Samuelson. Um, I feel like you could rotate any, like, uh, mid-court, you could rotate uh, attacking it and you can rotate on defending it. I don't know why you can't give people rests. I would be doing that, but, um, I guess Simone McInnes is, I mean, she is the coach and she definitely knows more than I do, so I'm just going to trust her on that. The mid-court battle will be one to watch with Kate Eddy looking to disrupt, uh, Verity Simmons, access to, to star goal Janine Fowler. Um, Janine Fowler is a very unstoppable player. Uh, she is just amazing. She's just so accurate, hardly does anything wrong. Um, she is definitely, definitely someone we need to try to shut down, but it doesn't mean that we take away focus from anyone else in the FIBA team because they are a highly skilled team, let's be honest. Uh, well, Liz Watson and Kate Maloney will be hoping to use their speed and precise ball movement uh, to transition down court with ease. Uh, the partnership between Emily Mannix and Joe Weston, which we love, uh, will have to be strong to limit influence of Sarah, uh, uh, Sasha Glasgow and uh, Alice Tignir. Um, I hope I said that right, uh, who, who are uh, crucial points for, fee for the Fever front line. Um, so, like last week, our Kira Austin played against the old team um, Giants. Uh, Vixen's goalkeeper, Olivia Lewis, uh, will be hoping to use her insider knowledge to have an impact on the court against Fever, which is her former team. Um, so that should be interesting as she'll be up against Fowler, uh, which she she definitely trained uh, with, so that should be interesting. Um, with an impressive uh, evaluation and read of the play, Lewis will be aiming to disrupt the flow of the ball and pull Powell back down the court, uh, which is definitely what we need. But yeah, it's definitely hard to stop someone like Fowler. It's not easy. Um, it's, it's, I just don't know. I just don't know how to, yeah, she, she's definitely 
definitely someone that can um, destroy the vixens. Um, she's super accurate, she can score from anywhere. She's just brilliant. Um, but then again, we do have a very strong defense and I'm pretty sure if they work well and work together and play smart, there's no reason why vixens can't win. Um, we definitely can. It's not, oh, we bet them in a grand final, we bet them in the team girls final. Um, I don't see why Vixens can't win. Um, but yeah, it's definitely going to be a grind. It, I feel like it's definitely going to be a tight match. I feel like maybe a two goal difference uh, at the end. Um, but yeah, that is it. Me for this round. And uh, yeah, I'll see you after the game. Bye.